Hey everyone, it's Sean from Chicory's Travels and today I want to talk about the Micro Air Easy Start. So we have the solar panels, we have the Battleborne lithium batteries, and we have the Victron 3000 watt inverter charger. The one piece we are missing is the ability to run the air conditioner while we're running off of solar and the batteries. And so we did some research and we found that most of the usage of energy when you're running the AC comes when you start the compressor. And that's a thing called locked rotor amps. And basically the compressor is completely stopped and it takes a lot of energy to get the compressor going. That can use four to six times the amount of energy that the normal AC would use when it's up and running. So there's a product from Micro Air. It's called the Easy Start. And you mount that on your AC and wire it to your compressor and it actually reduces the amount of amps used in this locked rotor amp process. It can reduce it by up to 70%. So that allows you to run your AC off of your batteries and your 3000 watt inverter. They even say it can run off of a 2000 watt inverter. So me and a buddy of mine, Dan from Always on Liberty, recently installed the Micro Air Easy Starts on each of our ACs. So I'm gonna walk you through the process. It's pretty easy, so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is read the instruction manual that comes with the Easy Start thoroughly and also study the wiring diagram. Not following the wiring diagram and the instructions can result in damage to some very expensive components like the AC compressor. After you've read the instructions, the next and most important thing you wanna do is shut off the power to the RV, particularly to that AC unit, um, because you don't wanna get an electrical shock. Then you're gonna to wanna to remove the cover from the AC unit that you're putting the Easy Start on so you can find a suitable location to mount it. And this, um, the, the case that the Easy Start is in is waterproof. So you just wanna find a place underneath the AC cover where that will fit. The Easy Start does come with plenty of wire, so it can be mounted anywhere underneath that cover. Just make sure you're not impeding the fan or any other components of the AC. Next, you're going to want to find the compressor R, C, and S terminals and the wire colors that are associated with each one. This is usually on the top of the compressor with a plastic cap, and the plastic cap usually has the markings on it. You're also going to want to find the run capacitor, and that's typically on or in a metal can. And it may be behind another cover that's protecting it from the weather. And you will know when you find this because it'll have two or three multi-post terminal connections um, with wires connected to it. And then you're also going to want to find the control board switch L1 output or main contactor compressor L1 output. Once you have mounted your Easy Start and found all the connections that are required, now it's just a matter of connecting and disconnecting wires. Basically, you're going to take a wire from the S terminal, follow it to the run capacitor, disconnect any other wire connected to that same terminal group. You're going to want to follow that wire if you disconnected any and remove it from the connector at the other end. You're going to want to connect the orange wire from the Easy Start to the same terminal group that the S terminal wire was going to. Then you're going to want to locate the wire from the R terminal to the run capacitor C terminal and disconnect it from the capacitor. And you're going to want to splice the brown wire from the Easy Start to that one. If you have compressors under three tons, which most of us are, you're gonna to wanna to connect the white wire from the Easy Start to the same terminal of the run capacitor from which you disconnected the white R wire. For all other comp compressors that are larger than three tons, you want to splice the white wire to the L2 wire that feeds the run capacitor 
or connect it directly to the L2 connection. We didn't have to do that, so I'm not exactly sure um, what that entails. And then you're going to want to connect the black wire from the Easy Start to the L1 connection coming from the main control board. It's typically a black or purple wire that connects to the compressor's common terminal wire. And that's it. Wiring is complete. You just have to close all open electrical boxes and panels and put the cover back on your AC. Okay, so now that you got everything buttoned up up top and you turned your power back on, the next thing you want to do is turn on your AC while you're connected to shore power. And over the next five times you run your AC, the Easy Start will learn your system. So then after it learns your system, you can run it off of your shore power, your generator power, or your batteries. So let's give it a try on the batteries and see how it does. I've already done this the five cycles, so now we should be able to turn it on directly off the batteries. So I've turned on the AC, it's down at 55, and it's running off the batteries. So, it works as advertised. Now I've shut it back off, um, just so I can keep talking. And there's a couple of things that you're going to want to know about running the AC off the batteries through your inverter. And one is, you're not going to be able to do it for very long unless you have tons and tons of battery power. Um, it's good to have if you're just really hot and need to cool off the uh, RV for an hour or if you're driving somewhere and you're getting close say 30-45 minutes you want to run your AC to cool it off since you've been driving all day and it's been all closed up you can do that as well but it's definitely not for long-term everyday 24 hour a day use um, but it will allow you to run off your batteries. Now if you have a generator and you want to keep fueling that then you can certainly run your AC off of a smaller generator. So we hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to thank Dan from Always on Liberty for helping me out with this project and until we see you on the road, safe travels.